Hey, nail tubers. So I found this on Amazon, and though there wasn't much to the packaging, I'm kind of thrilled about what's in this kit. A mini UV LED lamp, full cover nails, nail tip cutter, a hand file, a gel brush, cuticle pusher, and this is what I've been wanting, guys. Solid nail tip glue. If you've been following my channel, you know I've been wanting to try this and what happened when I thought it was coming with a package. So yeah, I'm happy to finally be able to try it. This nail tip cutter is a fair quality, but I do like the rubberized hand grips and it's pink. <laughs> so let me show you what's special about these nails. They're long taper coffin and the reason I wanted them is because they're pre-etched. See that? So yeah, this saves some trouble. And a few things stood out about this mini lamp. It specifies that it cures UV, builder, and LED gels. It has 50,000 hours of lifetime use. And this is a 16 watt mini lamp, guys. And that's much more than enough power for flash curing. I don't think I've ever seen a mini lamp with these specifications. So I'm opening it for you to see. Oh, I like the size of this one. I love how much more open faced. There's more space to get your finger in for curing. So it has this USB cord and I unfolded it later and it's about two feet long so you know. But I'm really pleased with how much room for even a couple of fingers. I was thinking how funny because this container of solid nail tips glue is pretty much exact to the one that I was expecting but never got, right? <laughs> so let me show you what it looks like, especially for anyone that's new. Nail tips glue, or I should say solid nail tips glue, is probably about the thickest of any nail products I've seen. And I mean in density, not consistency, if that makes sense. So see how it's solid? It's more like a jello. In fact, it's actually like that tacky glue you see in promotional mail brochures or like tacky tape. You know how it comes off real easy to the touch but has like that gummy jelly-like effect? You see it doesn't move until you touch it, so I'm just showing you that. See it? Now I don't know if I want to be touching it barehanded, and it has nothing to do with any warnings or precautions. I just don't want to aggravate the irritation on my fingers. So you know this means I'm doing an a prey dupe method, right? <laughs> I've sized the nails, but there was one thing to bring to your attention about these nails. They did run smaller, and the C-curve was tighter towards the top of the nail. So I hope that helps anyone who needs to fit larger. And since I pretty much dismissed the set when I used this beautiful pastel green from Madam Glam, I thought I'd redeem the color and use it today. I'm thinking I have an idea for this darker shade of lime green and it's number 013 by Model Ones and also this super laser gel by Venalisa. Look how stunning. Now I really wasn't sure what I was going to do so you're seeing the process and I think this will be super cute with that laser gel. What do you think? Then there's this chromatic powder. I love that the finish gives a pearly chrome. Then look at these stones. Now they're not Swarovski, but aren't the colors the cutest? So I just took a set off. And not only that, my nails have been prepped so many times now for videos. And I really don't have to do a whole lot, but prep is so important, right? And what you're seeing is actually ointment and healing lotion that I put on like a thousand times a day and possibly some oil and residue from the previous nails. But either way, all of it definitely still needs to be off the nails. I go all the way around the edges. Oh, which reminds me, 
there was this comment in my last video, the nail prep video, something to the effect of, I'm still waiting for her to say what prevents lifting or something like that. It's all in the prep girl. Perhaps I don't use all the terminology, even though I am a licensed nail tech. I can though, because I do try to convey things so it's more relatable. And perhaps it's because with every step I didn't specifically say, and this prevents lifting. And you can also prevent lifting by doing this. And lifting happens when, <laughs> you know, even though I kind of understood why the comment was made, there's still a way to talk to people. Girl, this is considered a micro channel, okay? You don't have to waste your time all up in here. We not doing that. I've watched too many of the established nail channels in the past go through things like this before I even started. And child, you late with it. That's some old mess. I'm sure you'll find or have other channels with content that suits you. And I'm not trying to be mean guys, but seriously, we don't have to take this stuff, this type of stuff off of people. And I don't necessarily care to feed into it, but we should stand our grounds. There, At some point, you do have to speak up and say something. And this is going to be the last of it. I just thought I'd put that out there. So, anyway, <laughs> I'm dehydrating. <laughs> and I thought I recorded putting on the base coat because these nails are coming off right away. But this is just me gauging how much to use since this is my first time using this solid nail glue. Now from what I understand, you don't really have to hold it in place, so let's try it. Look, and it works. <laughs> this was the part I've been wanting to do so bad. <laughs> I watched my nail sis, Ademi Doon Abimbola. She does glitters polish nails here on YouTube. And she was so excited doing her demo. And I was so excited for her too. So while doing this, I did come up with, I guess you could consider it a solid nail glue hack. So I hope this helps because glues and gels can get pretty sticky, right? So this is what I started doing. Just pick it up, place it inside the nail, and then work the layer inside the nail first before putting it on. See how I'm doing that? I pretty much go halfway, not all the way to where the free edge would be because I wanted to leave room to press any air pockets out. And you know what? Doing it this way takes so less pressure to put it in place. And remember, there's, there is cleanup, if any at all. And I think I show this again, but I'm so happy. I'm going to have to get more of this. There weren't any instructions, but since this solid nail tips glue is an absolute clear product, I cured it for 30 seconds. And I think this is the first that I'm seeing a Gel X dupe kit that comes with solid nail tips glue, guys. I'm finding this to be quite easy to do. And not only that, less messy as you can see. And it was pretty affordable at $18. This is definitely a game changer for me. So I'm going to let you watch the thumb for the close, close view, and I'll come back in with more.
Then I use a nail tip cutter and I'm just cutting all the nails just past the numbers and then filing it straight. Now this is the time to refine so it looks more natural. While doing this, the entire nail plate can be etched too. So I already laid base coat and cured that for 30 seconds. And this time I made certain to do thinner layers of the polish and cured each layer for 30 seconds. <laughs> The ring finger gets nail foil glue and that's cured for 30 seconds. Then I work the foil in with my silicone tool, just rubbing it in until the transfer takes place. And it may seem like a lot of work, but I'm just trying to make sure I get every flower because they're so spaced out. <laughs> they're so spaced out. That's like Benny and the Jets, right? But 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 Benny and the Jets. So as I was doing this foil, guys, let me tell you what happened. <laughs> The peel off base is so good, this nail pop right off. So I just put it back on with sticky tabs so I could finish the set out. <laughs> the middle finger gets matte top coat. And then the index will get the pearl chrome powder. So guys, I have this thing sometimes and tell me if you do this. I have so many nail ideas from the past that I haven't done. I have designs in my head that I haven't done. But here I was with this video as if I was having a hard time coming up with something to do. You ever think to yourself, yeah, I'm going to do the nails like this. And before you know it, you're literally on something else. <laughs> well, that's what was happening here. But I was loving each moment of this free flow set. I drew a stem coming down the nail using that Model 1's green I showed you. Then used a dotting tool with that Venalisa laser glitter polish and created a few petals hanging from a vine.
I'll lay glossy no wipe top coat for the stones since this is coming right off and a mixture of these colorful stones with some actual nail rhinestones really spruced up more twinkle. It's so springy and so cute to me. And even though I don't do much flowers, I like it so much. Do you like them? I have so many nail thoughts, it's crazy, guys. And if you'd like to see more, you can click this link. Remember to subscribe to my channel because there's so much more to come. And don't forget to click the notification bell because I can't wait to see you in the next one. Much love.